Scoop. We're going to be doing something really different today. We're going to be playing an old school survival horror classic from the PlayStation 1. In Japan, it's known as Clock Tower 2, but in US, it's Clock Tower 1. Therefore, the first Clock Tower in Japan was actually on the Super Famicom or Super Nintendo. Not exactly sure of which. But, um, and in US, Clock Tower 2, the struggle within is technically the third one in Japan, so you know how that goes. And it's a point and click puzzle survival horror type game. It has its down moments where it's slightly boring, but if you are into the whole survival horror and you don't mind puzzles here and there and actually having to think, you'll look past that once in a while boredom just to enjoy it. It's definitely a fun game. I've been. First time I ever played it, I think I was maybe. I'd want to say. Maybe 10 or 11 years old. And I just. I love horror movies, anything horror related my whole life. So I just automatically attach to it. And it's basically about this, you know. Hunchback killer type guy and he has a giant pair of scissors and he's gonna chop your head off and like to stab you and you know if he gets you anyways that's why I'm hoping not to get sliced up but I'm playing it on my PlayStation 2 as you can see the PlayStation menu hopefully audio is fine and you can hear me got my save file for part 2 I thought I had the save file for part 1 but I don't so I'll be starting from scratch there's multiple endings you can get Depending on like the choices you make, if you rescue some um, some of the characters, or if they end up dying, then the endings change. But I was hoping that one of my specific viewers was going to be in here, so we can relive our nostalgia playing it, start from the beginning. But it doesn't seem like he's in here at the moment, and it's. I also don't want to sit here and just keep talking at the PlayStation 2 menu. So I just kind of want to get this game started. I actually got to post something to... Let's see... Sure. Link to channel, Facebook. Now I'm gonna have to just copy the link. Go into a certain group that I am in. I'm gonna post on there. Got that shit. Well, I'm gonna start this up. Hopefully, the audio is good and everyone can hear me. I actually, have to put the game in the freaking system. That'd be great. All right, the disc is in. It should be loading up. Man, holding this PlayStation 2 controller is very odd when you go back to some old systems. You got the very, very classic PlayStation music. Love that startup menu. Yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoy this, even if you end up just watching it on YouTube. So, 
I mean, I love this game. I can just watch somebody play it. Like I was saying, it has some dull moments and stuff because you have to try to. It's a point and click, and you gotta just figure out some puzzles, certain things to do to progress through the game. Like certain things you might do, like look at a book. It progresses the game, and if you can't find that book for whatever reason, you're just going from room to room and get lost. You're basically just gonna find yourself wandering around, point and clicking, and maybe scissor man will come after you. For quite a while. So this game can have its down times where it's quite boring. Overall, the evil murderer of lives. With a knife? With a knife? No, it sounds crazy, but it looks like they were killed with crazy, a giant pair of scissors. Like giant scissors. Once again, search for prey. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a giant scissors. Once again, search for prey. Trail of I should remember when I first played this. From Norway to I, I must have been like a or 12, maybe even 10. Uh, what year did this come out? Let's see. 97. I was born in 85. So I was 12 when I played this. And holy crap. Just this opening alone. Freaking just scared the crap out of me. My brother and I, we used to just play it in the dark. Every night we did it from the video store, our local video store. Get home from school. Once my father got home from work, we'd go to that video store. We would want to rent this, just come home and just play it. Every Friday for the whole weekend, every week, as long as we could. Fear is fascinating. I always tell people that it really is. And uh, we would basically just try to get all the endings that we could. And this theme song here always gives me goosebumps. Just freaking love it. New game, I have no choice because I don't have a safe file. Sound stereo, see an endless. Some of the endings you can actually get pretty much from the beginning of the game. There's a couple things you can do that you just die. And that's it. Um, you might actually need a walkthrough, possibly. We'll see how that goes. Usually I don't like to use walkers when I do streams, because you'll just sit there and watch me look at my phone for a few minutes. We'll just play and see how it goes. Prologue. Professor Barton? Professor Barton! You mustn't hypnotize her like that. Some some lines I remember. You mustn't hypnotize her like this. She's not ready to remember the murders yet. Helen, the clock tower murders are fascinating research material for me. I must know the truth of what happened. She can't take any more of this today, Professor. I'm taking her home. Something's going on with the audio. Figure that out. You may be her guardian, but you are also my assistant. Yes, Professor. I honestly don't know what happened with that, with the voices, they were going a little loopy. I don't know if it's the disc itself, or my connections. But eh, whatever, I guess we'll see what happens when the next time people talk. Like I was saying, this is the point and click, you just click on different things, solve puzzles, click on certain things to progress the game. I really hope that this disc is not like defected. I did buy it at a good price because this is a very rare game that goes for like from anywhere from usually to a hundred complete. And for the most part, this is complete. I got the case, the manual. The only downfall, you guys, I'm showing you now, is the front cover of the manual came off, as the back of it did too. I have the front, but the back did not come with it, and the back is just nothing really 
for the game itself. So I figured the price I got it for that. But then I actually have the back art of the case, back cover. And then the actual inside of the case. So I figured, I think I paid maybe like 55 bucks. And like I'm just telling you that complete, it usually goes from anywhere to 80 to 100. And it, all, it does have some scratches on the disc, but nothing too major. So I'm hoping the person, the reason why the person sold it as cheap as he did, hopefully it's not a defective disc. Maybe that's why the audio is messed up. We'll find out. As long as like the disc plays, the game plays, I can look past the little flaws if I save some money, you know? It's just so difficult playing these type of games on like modern TVs. Especially, I have the LG OLED 4K. So, playing old games that aren't made for high def, even though I have a converter type thing that is supposedly upgrading the game to high def, they're not made for high def. So, they really, in some cases, look worse. Like, the better modern TV that you have, the worse that these type of games usually look. But I don't have an analog old school TV, so I can't really just start playing those. And I really, I don't think I'd be able to stream these type of games if I just use the old school TV, unless I use the HDMI. To RCA or those kind of components if I reversed it from high def to the old connection maybe. I don't know how that would work on all the animal TVs. If I still be able to stream it with my game capture from And this is just the prologue. You basically the doctor as you can see or the professor that has been uh, checking in with Jennifer. That's the one that's on the opening that dealt with the killer. So, they just have to walk them around basically this way of introducing all the characters. And then, after this, I think this could be, if you actually read everything and try to click on everything, it could be roughly about 20 minutes, maybe to a half hour. So, it does take a little bit to actually get them started. Like I said, it, even from prologue, if you miss one thing, certain endings won't happen, or certain things in the game in general just won't happen if you miss one little thing. So I usually just try to click on everything, and then it does just take a little longer to pick up. But it is what it is. Did you have an appointment during an interview? No, I didn't last Did you have an appointment with the professor? I think not. Stored or scattered? It seems Harris is not scattered. Right. I'm turning the lights on for you guys. Lights out. There is something I need to do. In here. Okay, what is it? What is it? See what I mean? Yeah, some things I guess they don't even make progress at all if you don't know. I look at this. Is this what it is? The statue is cool. I think this is what I got to click on. So I should be good to just walk over the room now. I think I, that's the one thing I missed. Okay, or not. This is not be cool if people real high. I mean, I say that all the time for horror characters and villains. 
from movies and stuff, but if they really were, I don't hope I'd enjoy that that much. Is it this? No, not the freaking... Helen's desk. You know how people are really going to look like sisters, aren't they? I mean, if they put together, I think now the better difference might look like each other. I don't care if you ask me, but whatever folks you want with, whatever folks you about. Alright, let's see. I'm not gonna lie, it's dumb already. I don't know if maybe this room, if this counts as not looking at something. Which is why I can't go. A therapy bed. Already looked at that. I looked at the scissors. The scissors make you dizzy. Some of the stuff that these people say is like, really? How? I mean, these graphics of the game make me a little dizzy and fuck up my eyes. But. I still just like to play him. Hmm. What is there? Click on anything that's letting me to click on it as far as I know. I clicked on the fence. So I just have to keep talking to him. That was odd. I have no idea what I clicked on that. Uh, what I supposedly missed before. Oh, Professor! A newspaper. I think it's Nolan, if I remember correctly. Go in the elevator. I wonder if it's slightly doesn't bother me as much when I look at the computer than it doesn't looking at the TV. It's Nolan, I was right. It's a pleasure. I'm a bit busy, please keep it brief. Let's keep clicking on his fat man's belly. Oh, you move. I can't say for sure yet because the victim's testimony lacks credibility. Oh, you mean the victim that's testifying? Yes. I know the PlayStation 3 lets you play PlayStation 1 games. I wonder if playing it there, it looks better at all than playing it instead of a PlayStation 2.
Yeah, but I'm probably going to be streaming some older games in the next few days or so. I have a couple planned already. Uh, for those who might really enjoy horror games, some of like the rare, more rare horror games, I have Haunting Ground. I have Clock Tower 2 and 3. I have Obscure for Xbox. I don't think that works in Xbox 360, though. We'll have to try that. And then I got Obscure the Aftermath for PlayStation 2. So I can play that. And then uh, Fatal Frame. I can be, I can stream notes. I'm thinking about doing some of the older wrestling games too. Just you can do some fun streams because you can see and just relive some, you know, nostalgia. I do have Resident Evil Outbreak games. I can play those if anybody's interested in that. I can play Shadow Hogs. That's a very rare RPG that I have. It's one of the more unknown games. Uh, I have Shadow of Destiny. That's another fun one. Another hidden gem. I'm just trying to think of a bunch of like rare games that maybe not many people know about. Just some people will. And those who have heard about them just maybe didn't see them for a while, so they might be interested in, in watching them, you know? When you don't see a game for a long time, it's kind of like, holy crap, I want to... It's so cool to see it. Especially if you're a stream. If, you're not, if you don't feel like wanting to be the one to play it, and you're more of a game watcher, then hey, that's perfect for you. Just bear with me if I get lost here and there, because it does happen. I don't think it's, this is the floor that I came from, I think. And it's just like, I have not played this game in such a long time. I can't remember the last time I actually played it. Professor, the boy that survived the clock tower. Murders is here. I think one of the endings has to do something to do with this statue. I don't know if, if you leave the statue, if it's a better ending, or if you pick the statue up. If that's the better one. This is why I was going to use a walkthrough, but I'll figure my first playthrough, I'll just win it. Whatever I get, I get. The butler at the Barrows Mansion. I actually like that when you're... If that's... If this option leads me to that stage that I like to do, then it's going to be fun. Ask Harris? Sure. Yes, I'll go and ask him on my way home this evening. So that option definitely changes some of the outcome of the game. Better or worse? I have no idea, I can't remember. This kid always just makes me laugh on the inside. Sometimes I don't express much on the outside. Like if, if I'm laughing at something, then usually it's on the inside. Unless it's just something that's really funny and I can't help myself. Does he remember his name? I call him Edward because go by makes things very difficult.
I wish they would remake this game series. I wish they would remake the whole series. And they probably could, in a way, remaster. I guess you can maybe just remaster these or just somewhat not go full on crazy with a remake and just basically make, you know, modern graphics. You can change whatever you want. And make it more of just like a free movement type game like Resident Evil instead of having to sit here and point, click, they talk. And then it, you gotta click on them again. It's like, why? Why can't they just keep talking? I'm gonna have to do multiple save games. And so I should have saved it before the statue. Check him out. Right. Did it save? I clicked on it. Oh, I'm helping first. I guess the options that you choose in the prologue, like it, that's what chooses what character you start off with. You can end up with Helen first, or you can end up being Jennifer. And I guess, from the looks of it, I'm Helen. Where should I go? Uh, police station. No, what time? Usually, what I end up doing is I just click on everything because I've known it's the police station. Our sisters. I'm talking as if I was gods. Okay. You see what I mean about the hits? If I click on it, they talk, they finish a sentence, you click on them again. It's like, why? They definitely need to like, redo these games and just make them a free run. I will love that so much. Imagine all modern graphics is in there, it's freaking scary as hell having to run away from it. And Clock Tower oh, yeah. was a PlayStation 2, and it basically was that. You were able to just walk around and do your own thing. No point type situation, so they do have something to work with since they made a Clock Tower game like that. And, uh, Capcom did the third one, so I don't know why Capcom's not... I don't know if it's a license issue or what, but this one was actually done by ASEII Entertainment. I don't know. A science? Yeah, it's like a So I don't know, like a license issue, or what the deal might be, which is maybe why they never thought about doing it. But the game must have been making money at the time, at least. Because they did three from the US. The first was on PlayStation 1, it was point and click. And then the third one didn't come out for a while. So they must have started with some kind of money from the game. Hey, this is the third one. It was Capcom that did it, too. And then when Haunting Ground came out, which was from Capcom, I don't know how true it is, but the word around was that was supposed to be a clock tower game, but it ended up being Haunting Ground for whatever reason. So, they really could just do something. They're so far up Resident Evil's rear, which I'm not complaining because I enjoyed the remix for Resident Evil. They could just like they're on a roll with me. kind of really bring back the clock tower series. But like I said, I don't know if it's a license issue or what. Because I think some of the people that worked on these games from the past for PlayStation One are either probably dead or not involved in the industry anymore. And maybe Capcom just feels. 
they might want to work with the people that are involved in the other ones that are I'm not Capcom, I'm just going by my theories and thoughts of why it hasn't happened, because if it was going to, it probably would have happened right now. And I also have another talks of remakes that people are wanting Capcom to do, not Capcom. Um, Parasite Eve wasn't for Capcom, so I don't know why I said that, but they definitely need to remake Cap um, Parasite Eve. Uh, but Dino Crisis, Capcom did that. I have those, the original two for PlayStation. I can stream those two if people want to relive that. But, um, they definitely need to dig back. I'm one for remakes and reboots or reimagining. I'm all about it. So I love when the game's back that you want to relive those games, like the classics, but it's difficult to deal with the graphics sometimes. So at least, even though they change some things in remakes and everything, it's still good to just be able to relive those characters and everything with graphics that aren't going to mess up your eyes. Like, playing this is already bothering my eyes, but I just deal with it for a certain amount of time. Especially my streams, I can just... I to do this, just going back to living nostalgia. I'm a nostalgic person. I love it. It brings back so many memories. And I remember, like, throughout the years, yeah, yes, throughout the years of, um, uh, of these games, especially this one in general. Like, the more people I met and became friends with from school back in the day, I would tell them about this game and they would be curious about it. Because, of course, like, at the time, and still to it today, not many people know what the hell game this is. And I'd show it to them and they loved it. They were like, oh, this is scary. And it was. It still is. Yeah, uh, we Helen. Scenario one, Helen. Oh god, I don't like this. I don't like the opening of Helen's uh, scenario. It's freaking creepy. You'll guys see what I'm talking about soon. Is that you, Baker? Oh, it's you. Baker's still in the lab. I'm talking with the same voice for different people. I always just try. I usually just try to um, read the sub different voices. But I end up sometimes the same people. I'll use two different voices and it just makes no sense. Well, vice versa. Different people. Are I thought I'd turn the lights off and go to bed too. Alright, now I can turn the light off. It's so weird, you can't like do certain things until other things are triggered. I can't turn the light off until I like, click on the bed. Uh yeah. I hope you guys are ready for this, because I'm kind of not. I know what's about to happen. Oh boy. Oh boy. Turning up the volume so I can hear it more, to make sure the audio is going to be good. And not messed up like it was at the beginning. Oh boy. I think I'll just make this bed. I really uh, I 
Hello, sir. I'm going. Like, running away from this guy is fucking ridiculous. Especially in such small areas like here. I don't know. Like, go, 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 go. Can I go? No? Okay. Alright, now. <coughs> I guess this one she automatically runs out on her own, which is a good thing. Because small areas like that, it's like, holy crap, you're gonna freaking die. Yeah, so this is what this game is. You get chased every now and then. You find a spot to hide, which I'm going to do now, hopefully. And then he runs away and disappears for a little bit. And then... He might find you and he might not. If he does, you're, you're screwed. If he doesn't, you can walk away, go into different rooms, try to figure out things and progress the story more. Sometimes he'll trick you, like... When the music stops, that means he did not get you. But sometimes when it stops, it's a trick. Like right now, he might be there. Thank God he wasn't. I'm just gonna wash my hands because I did touch the door. I guess you have blood on him too. So now, like, you get a bad choice where the doors you might have walked by that might have something you have to look on. And, you know, if Sism is nearby and he hears you, you could just be, like, right here. And then you have to run and hide somewhere again, hoping he doesn't get you. That's the thing about this game. You think you're safe, but you really not. Can I just exit out the building and just be done with it? Like, there might even be stuff in the room that I just came out of that I couldn't click on beforehand that I can click on now so I can go back and check just in case. That's how this game is. Turn the light back on. Or not. Why would the current for no one to be chased by them? The giant pair of scissors. This is like a typical horror movie where people do things that are so stupid. It is what it is. It's a freaking movie and a. A game in this game. Hopefully, we don't get killed. There's no way to get Alright, so I checked all the rooms that I can't up into the last one. Those are just stairs and you don't want to use the elevator, because sometimes you can in the elevator and you can't use it. In this case, when I do go in the elevator, I have a feeling he's gonna freaking be there. I choose this. There's also one scene that I think happens sometimes. It might not be when I play, so you might not see it, which is why I'm just going to say it. When you walk into the room, I think all the computers turn on and light up and say, kill, kill, kill. And this is They have really some great moments in this game. It's just you got to deal with this stuff to get to it, which is the downside of the game, of this game that I keep talking about. I have fires, Ooh, so it wasn't a waste to come in here. Oh, 
This is basically when the internet pretty much was first coming around, I think. I don't remember when AOL first exactly came around broadband internet. But it's funny. The big difference in the internet now compared to then. <gasps> Shit. That's it. Now I gotta use the staircase. It's funny how I was just mentioning it to you guys. Go, 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 go! Um, hopefully, there's something to use. Oh, I don't know if I should go up and down. I don't know if there's even anywhere to go up here. I might be dead, just so you guys know. I think I am. Ah! So now I just gotta keep pushing. Ah! See? So, you guys get the gif of what this game pretty much is. Oh, uh, shit. Continue. What does it leave me? Okay, good. So now I can go down instead of up, which I clearly cannot go anywhere. Some rooms have different things. There'll be stuff you can hit Scissor Man with. Or you just hide somewhere and he just doesn't see you. Uh, hopefully he does not see me. I don't know if I trust it. Thank God. Let's see what's in this stall. Oh no, it's the girl that was in the bed. Rose! I'm just gonna go so take a hurl in the corner. Ugh. Don't forget, wash your hands. Oh, really? I can't wash my hands? This gross. So you can wash your hands just by touching a door that doesn't have a dead body on the other side. But the one that has a dead body on the other side. And you freaking puke. You can't wash your hands. Dude, that makes no sense. Came the mask, surprised. No, but um, when Scissor Man chases you, sometimes I think I tried, I don't know if it didn't work. You see how the arrow was flashing red real bad? That's usually when you can't like kick him or knock him down. But these. I if I remember correctly, you can tap the square button, I think it is, and you just tap it, and then it, I think the arrow has red or yellow, uh, white or yellow, and then you can tap it, and you'll knock him down out of the way. But for some reason, it instantly like went to red, and I couldn't do anything, so I don't know. Like I said, it's been a while since I really played this. Some things I do remember that stand out more to me. Like the opening of the scene with the with your introduction to Scissor Man. And some of the scenes like Rose in the restroom, some of the hiding spots, the areas you get killed. That stuff stood out to me. So I remember that. But little things like the arrow. 
when you're allowed to push to knock them down, I'm not gonna remember that. That doesn't stand out to me. It's just something you learn as you play. Well, yeah, like I said earlier, I hope for those who are watching this on YouTube are enjoying this and will hopefully follow my Twitch. Like, there'll be a link in the description box on my YouTube channel, channel below the video. Follow my Twitch. I'll, I do streams like this once in a while and I'll do it for a few days. Just the other day, I streamed some emulators and ROMs. Just live in nostalgia with like you guys. I'm sure you'll like it too. I mean, most people, from what I've been seeing on Twitch anyways, I understand it. It's the streamer, which is the reason why they go and tune into those videos. All they're doing is just playing the usual Call of Duty, Fortnite. It's like, okay, why don't you do something different, you know? I don't mean to be hating on anything, because I'm not. It's like I said, it's a matter of the streamer. And I streamed big release myself, of course, like Resident Evil 3 first came out, of course I streamed that for those who couldn't buy it yet for whatever reason or still just waiting for it and wanted to see the game, it lets them see the game, but so I did the same thing with Final Fantasy 7 Remake. I beat both of them. I didn't go through and get every you know, discovery and all that stuff. Usually once I go through a game I just kind of stay away from it for a bit and play something else and stream something else. I don't want to keep the same game every day until I beat it anyways. But I think streams like this is usually the better ones. For living nostalgia or just revisiting it's something different than what most people are streaming right now anyways. Oh, Brian, you're a little late. You missed the sum of the game. I was hoping you'd be in here from the beginning, but you weren't. Sad and disappointing. Jeez, that was a long print for the facts. There is nothing that there is nothing that might be useful, so that nothing might be useful. I don't care if you just ate. That's no excuse! I haven't ate, and I'm in the screen. I have a flashlight, and I hit you on the head with it. I can wear some shirts and ties and emblems. Let's see what we got for facts. Get ready, I'm coming to get ya. <laughs> Can I fax him back? Fax him a love letter. The power is out when you receive the fax. I'm finding so many things that I never thought about back in the days of playing this game until like now. The power is out when you can pick up the phone. Come quickly, please. He's relaxed, ma'am. Did you see the murderer? He's the one with the giant scissors. Scissor man, you've heard of him, haven't you? I have no idea why the audio is like that. Like some parts the audio is like that, some parts it's not.
It depends. Like, if the power is completely out, I don't think landlines would work. I don't know. I thought... Is that why the fax machines still work too? Because it's connected to the landline, probably. Holy crap! I don't know. I don't know where they. Um. I think we're going to the bottom floor. Aren't you, Mister Intelligent? Well, Scissor Man needs to think his things through then. He should have just completely got rid of anything that controlled the fire, too. Then she wouldn't be able to use anything. A phone box or whatever. Let's knock it out. There is a key lying on the table. What is this? I have the storage key. Now we can go from the emergency exit. After we see the dead man. Ew. Peekaboo! Security will not come. If anything, Scissorman will come and shove them scissors right up your wah 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 I don't understand why the audio is messed up on some parts, but sometimes it's not. It might have to do with my PS2 settings, or maybe just the PS2 is not playing it right, maybe? I hope my disc isn't defected. Run! 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 Wah, 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 wah. Don't go into the restroom. Let's see that. Do I hear him? Go, 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 go! Hide in the box, hide in the box, hide in the box! Hide, 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 hide! Go, 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 go! Oof, that was a close one. there anything in here? A wooden box of stuff with papers, probably the research documents. It seems empty. I hope I don't miss anything. I'm leaving. Screw this. Oh, it's wired shit. I thought I had to use keys. Ah, that's fine. Oh, now I use keys. Jesus. They really trying to keep you in here today. Go, run, hurry, fast. Bumbles, bumbles. Hmm. 
Ne oldu? Gelesin. Yes. What in the beep is going on? We haven't solved the last case yet, and now another mass murder. Danger? Jennifer. Jennifer. Oh, so I have got some, I think. Or Jennifer, maybe. Ching, ching. And you fuck at the beach. Yeah, I'm gonna be streaming just random games for the next few days. I'm probably gonna catch up from this. I'll stream this for some time tonight, of course. And I'll probably be streaming maybe part two Ghost Head, not Ghost Head. Struggle with it. Then part three. And uh, basically just taking the nostalgic pictures for living some classic rare games or some unknown games that people don't know about. And we be curious of what it is. Obscure. Uh, some older Resident Evils. I do want to play my GameCube games, but I'd rather wait till I have a GameCube memory card, so that way I can save. Norway International Hotel. Helen, I heard that you were attacked by Superman. Alright, well, I'm actually going to have this stream here because I have food and I gotta go with that. Thanks for coming in here, though. Talk to me through text. And thanks for those who might be watching on YouTube or who might actually be here now. I have no idea if you are because I can't see my viewers. But everybody, thanks for watching. Take care. Thank you, Brian, again, as usual. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. There will be some more nostalgic videos and streams coming up.